friends. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So I am a little all over the place. I have definitely become a hoarder in the last couple months. I want to say it's been about six, seven months since I've actually filmed a video. All the ones that are about to go up were filmed almost a year ago at this point. Where I live now, things have just been super dramatic and just a lot to take in. So I have not had any time to myself to do things that I really, really enjoy. So at this point, I'm still a very, very big collector of dolls, LOLs, Funko Pops, and especially Squishmallows. For a while there, as you guys saw, I was doing Squishmallow videos every either Saturday or Sunday. I really don't remember. It's been that long. And I never stopped buying them. In fact, I've become a hoarder of them because I've been wanting to film hauls and have just not had time to do it. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the most recent ones that I've gotten. At this point, I'll say some of them are about a month to two months old, but people are still being able to find them. So I'm really excited to finally get this done. Like I said, I do really, really want to share this stuff with you guys. I mean, I've had this channel now for, I want to say like three, almost four years. I know I'm a really small channel and mostly probably because I go long periods of times without filming things and uploading them, whatever, whatever. But I just love doing it. I love being able to connect with other people who love weird things like I do that we shouldn't, I guess, as adults. But anyway, enough about where I've been. I'm trying to be better. I've edited about a month's worth of content, so hopefully that'll all be going up soon. And then hopefully I can get caught up on being more real time with you guys and then just getting back into what I love. So without further ado, despite that very, very long intro, what we're going to do today is a ginormous Squishmallow haul. I want to say that these are like spring Easter type Squishmallows. So I'm super excited to get these shown to you guys. So if you want to see what I got, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So super, super random before we start, I really wanted to show you guys something. So if you've seen any of my videos that I filmed while being in this location, I normally have an app meow. Is that how you say it? An app meow um, box of plush over there. That was from series one, but my fiance so dedicatingly helped me collect the series two. I know they are on series three, but a couple weeks ago we successfully completed the set. So now all of them are displayed in their little series two box. So I'm so excited and I just wanted to show you guys real quick because they're out of frame, but there they are. Normally I have the series one, which is actually just on like the other side. You could see it right there. So now I have the series two. I'm working on getting the series three, but I did notice dun 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 that series three no longer has the cheat code on the back of the boxes. So that is going to be a very big adventure for me. But anyway, I just wanted to show my proud little mom moment of my entire series two collection. And now we'll go ahead and jump into those squish. So the first one I have, I randomly found at Walmart. Walgreens, I want to say about two to three weeks ago, and it definitely complements a lot of the other squish I showed in my Valentine's haul, which I'll link that in the description below. But here is this adorable chocolate Valentine's Day cupcake. So cute. Just like the vanilla cupcake. I'll throw up the picture because I don't know where she is. It has this cute little heart-shaped cherry with this stem on it. Very cute little sprinkles on there that aren't embroidered. It's like printed on. And then she has two little embroidered cheeks right there. Very, very cute. So we have a vanilla one, which I said is my fiance and then this one is me so i absolutely love this one very very cute i did get this one at tj maxx my tj maxx never really have anything we randomly just went in there to check and this was the only one that was on the shelf and i knew i had to have her i will say this one's very very thick like she's bottom heavy and then not so much up here but nicely stuffed so i do really like this one so now we'll get into more recent ones these are from the five below easter drop and from walgreens during when they put out their easter spring collection so we'll start with the ones that i got from five below. So I really, really wanted the entire Easter collection. I'll try to find all the pictures and pop them up on the screen. Oops, I showed y'all. But my fiance literally would not let me get more than four. So I tried to pick my favorite. So the first one we have is this adorable little bunny. So, so cute. I love this little wink. I know that they do have this, I believe in a seven, seven and a half inch, but it was part of a exclusive like box Easter set from Kroger. But nonetheless, very, very cute. Absolutely love this one. Blue is my favorite color color and bunnies are okay but they remind me of my mom they're her favorite animal and it's been over a year since I've seen my family so I knew I had to pick it up just a little piece of home with me so really really like this one very cute I also know this one comes in a clip and I'm dying to get my hands on it next we have this adorable little donkey so so cute I love this color this like lavender pastel purple very cute I love that it has the floral print in his ears and on his tummy very cute little tail and mane absolutely love this one I believe they 
have this one in a 8 inch and a 12 inch. I'm not 100% sure, but I also know they have the in a clip as well. I do want at least a bigger one, but I don't know what size. 8 or 12? I don't know. Let me know. Is 12 just too big to be collecting when you're a big collector of things? Either way, absolutely love this one. I wasn't going to get it at first, but I just loved the pastel color and very Eastery. Okay, so I had to take a quick break, but I realized that I'm just talking and talking and talking. So I'm going to try to just show the next couple ones really quick because we do have a lot to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the five below ones. So these next two are probably, I don't want to say my favorite, but definitely like them a lot. So here I have this cute, adorable little cow. I know that she comes in a bunch of different sizes as well. I have the original five below drop of her that has a little bow, but this one I think is like a lighter brown color and no bow, which I just really like her. And it's a really cute size. I don't know if they came out with an eight inch version of her, but I would like to get a bigger one that doesn't have the bow. Then the last one that I got from Five Below is this infamous little mint colored bull. Very, very cute. He's kind of wonky. So when I went into Five Below, this one and the cow that I just showed you were the last ones that they had of these. So I didn't really get to pick which ones like were looking better. Like I feel like his face is printed to the side versus like him. And then her, she does have a string coming off her eye. But nonetheless, I was really super excited to get them. I absolutely love this one. The color is gorgeous. And I don't know, I just am in love with this one. I know that he comes in a bunch of other sizes. So just wait to see what I show you guys. But this one I think is just an adorable size and just really nice for like a desk or a small little apartment area. So I just knew I couldn't walk away without him. So my phone is dying super quick. So I'm going to try to get through these next couple a little bit quicker. As I said, the last clip, I'm just talk, 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 talking. So next I have this adorable little butterfly. So very cute. I love this tie dye color. I'm not normally a fan of pink, but this is a very cute story. I saw her when the Easter stuff first came out and I just didn't feel like spending money on her. Then I got paid like two weeks later after seeing her. I used Walgreens app and I saw that there was only one left in stock at a Walgreens like an hour away from me and my fiance actually went and got her for me. I absolutely love this one. Let me tell you, this girl is like thick. Like it actually takes some force to squish on her. So she is very nicely stuffed absolutely love her and yeah she's just gonna be perfect for my butterfly collection definitely different than anything I have and like I said I really think what got me is the tie-dye it's just really really pretty so I really really like this one then I was able to find the Easter clips I know during Valentine's Day they were impossible to find but every single Walgreens I've ever gone to even up until this point and it's two days before Easter that I'm filming this I am finding these clips everywhere so we'll start with this cute adorable little one I did just show y'all him in the five below version still loving that pastel color and loving this very very cute I love that the tag is literally as big as him I love this color purple and yeah I am now growing a clip collection never thought I would but he's just perfect and then the only other Easter clip that I did get is this adorable little Peter I love him so when we were at five below like I said my fiance only let me get four of the Easter ones and when I had the choice it was either between the Peter in the five below version or this little donkey I went with the donkey and I absolutely regret it because once I got home I found that I do in fact have a pig collection I have a few different rosies and yeah I kind of regret not getting that one so if I do end up getting the five below version of Peter I think I will try to get it is what I'm saying so hopefully I can find it here soon I just wish the clip was a light pastel pink versus this one but nonetheless very cute and going to make a great addition to my clip collection